As schools reopen, pediatricians say an increase in COVID-19 cases wouldn't be surprising. That's because a lot of times when kids get together, they tend to share, but sharing includes germs. As schools reopen across the state, we do anticipate at least a slight bump in the numbers of COVID cases. As for Enterprise City Schools, we started back last week and we have had three confirmed cases. This, however, I think is pretty expected for a school system of over 2,000 students. I would expect about three of them to have COVID right now. Um, and so that is actually not an increase yet. In addition to the three confirmed cases, 40 other students were also sent home due to the possible exposure to the virus. It is very important that anyone who has close contact with someone who is known to have COVID stays home and in quarantine for 14 days. What our schools are doing is when they send home a suspected case of COVID, they are also sending home their close contacts at that time. It is really important to listen to those school nurses and for those close contacts to stay home until we know if they were truly exposed to COVID or not. That is how we are going to limit the spread in our community. Doctors consider close contact as someone being within six feet of an infected person for more than 15 minutes. In schools, this could include anyone that sat around the infected student. If there, a child was confirmed to have COVID-19, then close contacts need to stay home for 14 days from their last contact. If during their 14 day quarantine that child develops symptoms, then they need to stay in quarantine for 10 days from the first day of their symptoms. In the last few weeks, there have been 90 child deaths linked to COVID-19 around the U.S. That's why Dr. Ernest is sharing this message. If your relative is the person who passes away, it doesn't matter what the percentage is. The percentage is 100% to you. Dr. Nola Ernest wants to commend the work school nurses and teachers are doing and says parents can help out by taking their students temperature before sending them off to school and keeping their children home if they seem ill.